Welcome to our Princess Cruises Enchanted Princess Standard Balcony Tour and Review. In this video we show you the pros and cons of this type of cabin, how to use the technology to ensure you don't get any unexpected bills, and we also show you how to get a humongous balcony. Right then, so we've been staying in B701, which is a standard balcony cabin. And if Paulie Morgan lets us in. Hello there. We will show you around. So let's start this end with the bathroom. So um, as soon as you walk in, as you can see, the entrance, you come to a decent sized bathroom. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's okay. Um, you've got your toilet there with some storage there and you've got shelves there. The thing I would say, the toilet roll holder's over here. And for me, my arms aren't long enough, so we put one at the top there. I mean, well, we move it over there, don't we, when it's um, just a tiny little detail, which I know is uh, wouldn't be a problem for some. You've got your washing line up there, and you've got a decent-sized shower, and it's really hot and powerful, isn't yes. it, Paulie? It has got the dreaded shower curtain. It has got be, the dreaded shower curtain. To be fair... It is a I decent can, size, as you can see. Yeah, if I could give you a demonstration. But because of the size of it... The shower curtain really isn't an issue because no. the shower curtain's right out. Yes. So, it, it so we normally, as you know, if you've seen our uh, cabin tours, we hate to... We don't like the clean shower curtain. No, we don't. But we do, what we do like is the Lotus Spa um, products that uh, princes have. They're lovely, aren't they, Paulie? Yes, nice. So, yeah, so no complaints of the bathroom um, at all, is there? Yeah, no, so it's just like you said, it's just the toilet roll. Yeah, the toilet roll's roll just this side, not yeah. a little bit forward, but... If you lean forward so far to get the toilet roll, you nearly fall off the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the sort of walk-in wardrobe configuration that's famous for, for Princess, which is gr great in some aspects, um, but we've always said, if you're trying to get ready and someone wants to go in the bathroom... You, we always get in each other's way, aren't yes. we? But it's but it's not the end of the world. But lots of hanging space, lots of foot space, and then you've also got if Paul can just open the cupboard down the bottom, you've also got uh, more storage and a good size safe. Yes. Um, so that's been great. Now into the main room, you'll see uh, the beds on Princess. You've got to say that. They're legendary. They are legendary. And for all the right reasons. Very, very comfortable. They are. They are. We, we've we loved... Uh, uh, we're sleeping very well in this cabin. You've got... Um, you turn the lights on. Yes. Would be helpful, wouldn't it? So you've got um, the lamps here that have got USB. Yeah. There. And you've got two uh, drawers there, either side of the bed. Uh, it's so nice to have USBs in the lamps. It just makes life a bit easier, doesn't it, with all um, with convenience. But also, you'll see there's a little desk area. The only thing this cabin's missing, which you do get on other lines that um, are standard cabins, is a, is a sofa, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not very long, but it's been really comfortable. We're on here for four days. It's been perfect for what we've... Uh, we've needed really hasn't it because uh this area is great for getting ready but also for charging all your electronics you've got round pins and you've got um usa flat pins you've also got this side all your um tea and coffee but strangely all your tea and coffee stuff there yes but nowhere to plug the kettle in no so you have to plug the kettle in the opposite side so, of the room, yes so you have to plug it in over which here which does seem a bit strange but but more storage um, as well. So storage hasn't been an issue for no, us at all, has it? And this side, you've also got a fridge, um, which is a decent size where we keep all our bottles of water that were on uh, the Princess Plus package, which I'll put a link to in uh, below. And also Jocelyn's been our cabinet student. She's been lovely. So she knows that we like our cuppers in the morning. So she's put us, she puts us as a glass of milk rather than little pouches that just have got not much milk in at all. You've got some live channels. If you're into your sport, um, this channel, like today, they'll show the 4.30 kickoff at home on a Sunday, which is Chelsea Tottenham today, so come on, you Spurs. Uh, lots of other channels. And then you can also do, like, ordering stuff. So, yes. Um, if you want to... Um, you go back to there, go to back, and then you've got my cruise, you've got stateroom directory, you've got cruise health, you've got shore excursions, yeah, what's going on on the ship, all sorts of stuff, and then you've got your princess pattern, which is your paper, yeah, you get in your room anyway. If you go to the medallion class, we've had difficulty with our app, um, and it's been you know, a lot of people we speak to, um, the app works, it's so temperamental, yeah. sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but we have found that if you want something delivered to your cabin, 
then and you order it via the TV, it actually works, doesn't it? It's a limited to it's come on. Yeah. That's famous last words. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Here we go. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, and it, you can then, if you wanted a, a drink... <laughs> oh, my God. Look, I don't know if you've seen Armorella um, Discovery 2, but if you want to see poor dressed as Britney Spears, then I suggest you check that out. <laughs> get rid of that now. Uh, but, yeah, so you can order through your, your TV, and to be fair, we've ordered through and had it delivered to the room, and it's been yeah. absolutely fine. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, yeah. So, lots of things. You can also check your account on the TV, yes. um, on your app. Always check your accounts, because um, charges do turn up from time to time, don't they? Mysteriously appear. They do. £2,000 worth of art on the one cruise. Yes. So, always check your account before you get off, um, thankfully. But, to be fair, Princess resolved that very quickly, yeah, didn't they? Right. Now, let's show you the balcony. Now we're travelling with, um, well there's ten of us isn't there travelling together with family, um, John and Dean have got an accessible cabin which we'll put a link here to that type of cabin and we've got just a standard balcony cabin which again is not, it's not mega wide but it's been fine but we've, what we've done is we've opened up all our, um, cabins next door would well, Nat and Al keep their door closed yeah. don't they I don't blame them no I don't blame them either but they open it when they come back um, when they come back later and we've been able to enjoy just all sitting together uh, having a coffee in the morning and just watching a sail and it's been pretty special hasn't it Paul just sat here you don't feel that you, it's just like um, well it's just been lovely to have that sociable area um, but just opening these partition doors here so if you are travelling with um, friends and family and you want to have adjacent cabins make sure you let your travel agent know Emma Otter sorted this out for us didn't she travel counsellors and it's been great but if you don't get on with your family Yes. Just pretend you didn't know they'd be open. Yes, true. Uh, so we've enjoyed our time in this cabin. Um, I would book this cabin again yeah. if it was for a short cruise. If it was a longer cruise and it was just Paul and I travelling on our own, where we'd spend more time in our cabin, I'd probably want um, a mini suite, which we, we've we stayed in on the Sky Princess, um, yeah. so we'll put a link to that. So there's all sorts of types of cabins on ships. We've got a post also about that, um, so check our website out, Enchanted Presents Cabins, and you can see exactly exactly what's available so there we are we hope we found this useful um so why don't you watch this video next